how the hell are you so late for the... Jeez, are you coming from a date or something? Is that why you're late? Sure, yeah, Ugh, whatever. I don't know why you'd get all dolled up like this just to study. Ugh, whatever. I'm gonna yell at you if that outfit makes you distracted. It doesn't even look comfortable. I'm not going to be here for a while knowing you. Go put your papers on the table. You did print them out like I told you to, right? Good. Okay, we're starting. Drink the water. I can tell your eyes are heavy. Probably because you have a tendency to ignore even your most basic needs. Okay, I guess... Let's see... Right, so, uh... Yes. You printed all the essays out as I told you to, but... They're not annotated. Did you switch up or something? Decided you actually could focus when annotating digitally? You have to make your mind up on some myth because I can't keep up. Of course, you just didn't annotate your text. That's definitely the correct course of action when, when studying literature, just not actually studying it. Whatever, it's fine. I've known you long enough to know that you just don't really know how to study anything, so it's fine. It's my bad. Let's hope you understood the essay this time, shall we? Huh? They took you a long time to read? Babe, buddy. Buddy, these are some of the shorter critical essays you'll have to read in the class. I mean, it's literary theory. Theory kind of suggests that there's a lot to talk about. I mean, scholars write entire books about one-tenth of a concept. Don't apologize to me. I mean, apologize to yourself, silly. You're gonna be the one failing, not me. What's with that face? No snarky remark? No sass? Nothing? Well, oh, thank God for that. Maybe you'll actually learn something for once. Fingers crossed, right? Alright. <sighs> okay. So within some of these essays, we have some of the key concepts of institutionalized literary study. Mind you, I didn't say they are correct. These ideas isolated the text as an almost scientific object to be observed. This was done purposely. Remember that. Hey, look at me. I said remember that. If I have to repeat myself like I did last time, I swear I'm going to make you pay me. Anyway, the school of thought was called New Criticism. It came about after World War II when STEM was blowing up, taking over scholarly fields. Some say that humanities had to fight to regain a position not only in academia, but the public eye. So new criticism functions as a science, right? It isolates the text from any cultural or historical context. The reader doesn't matter. The author doesn't matter. Only the text which holds one's answer. Like an equation. Understood? <sighs> I can tell by that nod you don't. <sighs> Whatever. On to the essays. These authors were aiming to transform new criticism into something else. Something adjacent. Everyone except Barbara Christian. She thought it was stupid. Anyway, look at Bath's Death of the Author essay. Now, what was Bath's main idea in that essay? Okay. The author is dead, I guess. Kinda. Yeah, the author takes on the role of a dead person. Separate from their identity, but becomes a tool of language. Quite a juvenile way to say it, considering it's in the title, but I'll allow it. The main point was through the author's death. We have the birth of the godhead reader. They are all that matters. That's what was revolutionary to new criticism. Now, what were Foucault's ideas that responded to Bath's? You... You just said the same thing. Right. You know what? Fine. Foucault did agree the author shouldn't matter when looking at a text. At least in a perfect world. 
I believe he did say the author haunts a text, so sure. But what did Foucault say that goes against Bath's ideas? <laughs> oh my god. Did you even read the essay? You're telling me you missed the entire point of the essay. The what, seven paragraphs you went on about the author function and Bath's ideas as a romanticized dream? How did you not notice that? Oh, of course he didn't get that. I really shouldn't be surprised. I don't think I've ever met someone who can't read anything that's not the back of a cereal box. Like, tell me why Barbara Christian thought the use of the theory and new criticism was so bad. <laughs> Holy shit! She literally spelled it out for you! You didn't get it? <laughs> Here, let's go through them together. Huh? Oh my god, are you... Are you okay? S stop crying. Okay, whoa, hey, hey. That's an overreaction. Don't say that about yourself. I, okay. I, hey, you're really crying all that shit. Um, don't apologize. Fuck, you're making me feel real bad. What made you cry? Did I? Oh, fuck, no, I'm not right. I was just, I'm so sorry, please. Please sit up. Look at me. I have no clue what I was thinking. I, it was totally inappropriate. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Do you hear me? Are you listening? You're gonna buzz out and listen to me. Just listen to my voice. God, I'm sorry. No, no, it's not okay at all. I got way too carried away. I started saying shit, just to say shit. I don't know, would it be weird if I uh, wiped your tears? All right, I, I think that meant it was okay. Yeah, you're crying so hard I can barely understand you. I fucked up so bad. I really didn't mean to hurt you. I, I never realized how harsh I'm being until after the fact. Stop saying it's fine. Jeez, how do you expect me to believe that, dummy? I made you cry. I... Damn it. There I go again. Just... I never listen to anything my dumbass says. Oh, fuck. You... You poor thing. Take some deep breaths, okay? Good. Just in and out. You're doing good. In and out. Just like that. I'm sorry I never realized how harsh I was being. I... Usually, you're so snarky and sarcastic, I never noticed I was hurting you. You must have been holding this in for a long time. You're not an idiot. I am. I treated you poorly and expected you to learn from it. And I never checked in to make sure everything was okay. You're smart. Like... Sometimes. Uh, no, no, not like that, I mean, I, um, I, I notice when you talk sometimes that there's a lot that you, uh, that you know that you're good at. You're pretty, you know, not dumb. No, I'm not. God, please don't make me say more. I'm, I'm terrible at compliments and everything at all that has to do with, like, um, Touchy, feely, sappy, the. Uh, hey, no, 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 don't start crying again, please. I'm sorry, I swear I'm not lying, you're. Oh, for fuck's sake. Here. Yeah. Um. Let me give you a hug. Um. But. I don't know. D does that help? Cool. Um, right, good. I'm glad. I guess you can j just stay there if you want. I mean, you can get up if you want, but... Okay, cool. Um, that's good that my chest is, uh, you know, comforting or, or whatever to you. 
you like about it? <laughs> I'm sorry, like I said, I'm horrible with this stuff. Emotions and such. Softness, you know. I'm a very hard person, I'm not. <laughs> well, you know, that sounds very problematic. I'm, I'm not, I, I'm a very tough person. Ugh, no, no, that's not it either. Rigid? I think rigid is the best word. Right. So, um, yes, I, I am a rigid person. I have always been like this. I'm bad at complimenting people. I'm bad at hugs. <laughs> Even though your grip on me suggests you think otherwise. That's why I, uh, I treat you the way I did during all of our sessions. I didn't mean it, I just... It's no excuse, don't get me wrong. It doesn't excuse my behaviour, but... I guess it's just important for you to know that it's not your fault. Hey, quit moving your head against me while I'm talking. It makes it hard to think. You know, growing up, my parents and brother were super strict. I was always expected to do really good with no reward, just the fear of being yelled at and insulted if I failed. It sounds much harder than it was. I didn't have a bad childhood or anything. I think it just made me a bit emotionally constipated, you know? <laughs> you, you laughed. It's nice to hear that again. You know, I don't smile much. I don't joke much. Not because I'm unhappy, but I guess because... That was never taught to me. I don't know. So most people don't usually try to befriend me or anything. But when you saw me in the dining hall, you asked what I was reading, what I studied, how my classes were. You'd smile and say hi. Little things like that. It made me so excited, you know? Most people are intimidated by me, but you weren't. Then you asked me to be your tutor, and I... <laughs> I guess I was kind of like, yes, finally, an excuse to see them. I didn't know how to start a relationship with you, or, or I mean, like, friend relationship, you know? Uh, a, a friendship. <laughs> um, <laughs> what's with that face? <laughs> You head back down. Uh, anyway, inevitably, I said something wrong, or weird, or cold, or blunt, or mean, or whatever, and instead of being pushed away, you just shrugged it off. You'd make a joke about it, poke fun at how grumpy I am. And it felt really good. Just to have any sort of attention from you at all, and, and since I wasn't really good with other ways of interacting with you, I... I went further and further. I wanted more of your witty comebacks and half-serious insults because... because I thought that made us friends. Sometimes I thought, man, I don't want this with them. I... I want to make them smile, you know? Genuinely. Make them laugh with a... a good joke, not some clever insult. But I didn't think I could do it. So I went further and further and further and... Now I've hurt you. I should have checked in. I should have made sure you knew how valuable you were to me. But I didn't. I was being irresponsible. And if you don't want me to be your tutor anymore, that's totally justified. Are you sure? Why? I mean, of course I will never be that cool to you again, but I'm still cold and bland. I'm... I'm really worried, no matter how hard I work, I won't be able to change that. I... Um, you... Uh, what? You like me like... Like we're friends? I'm more than your tutor? Even if I am a... Even if I hurt you? I made you cry? How do I make you happy? All I do is fuss at you. 
I refuse payment because you hate the dining hall food. If you were paying just to come to my dorm, you wouldn't be able to get the snacks you like. Because I never see you take a sip of water, and when you forget to eat, your lips get pale. That doesn't make sense. Just because I'm decent once in a while doesn't mean you should shrug off my meanness. It built up and it really upset you. I'm still... so sorry. I know, I know. I should have been able to tell. I mean, you looked stressed. You were dressed all formally and, and your hands were clasped in front of your chest. I mean, I knew you came from somewhere important. And I know you had a tough integrated social sciences class earlier this week. I just... I should have been more gentle. What do you mean you didn't do anything today? Why are you like that then? I mean, I guess it's really none of my business, you know. I don't know if you went on a date or hung out with someone, but it really doesn't matter, so... What? You dressed up to see me? Why would you do that, Sally? Oh, okay. I mean, we do only see each other, like, once a week these days, but it's it's not like a, a formal thing or anything. It's a surprise me. I, yeah, you... I'm definitely surprised. You, you look really great and you smell really good. Not that, I mean, I'm always surprised about how cute you are, so... I, I mean, not like, I just... Sorry, that was really weird. Um, I, I never see you in those clothes, and even though you're always hot, it's nice to have... Uh, wait, um... I'm really not making this better for myself. Oh. Sure, yeah, of course you're... Fuck, yeah, you're adorable a lot of the time. I hate to say it, I, I mean, I really feel guilty, but even now, with your nose all red and your swollen lips, you... you're stunning. <laughs> Whoa, hey, why did you just tackle me? <laughs> what did you say? I can't hear you with your face in my chest like that. Oh, <laughs> that's the last way I thought someone would describe me after I... well made them bawl their eyes out. But you're... You're so sweet, doll. Is that okay, or... too much? I'll take that as okay. <laughs> you, uh, your smile is nice to, um... you know, to look at. Would you, um, maybe mind if I, uh, Look closer. Mm, yeah. That's probably the prettiest thing I've ever seen. Your lips are so... Um, they look... So soft. Can I... <laughs> They're so soft. So incredible. <sighs> oh, you're perfect. You're perfect. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Pumpkin. It's so easy now, being with you like this. Now that I know, I'll never treat you like that again. I promise. You're too precious. You're too adorable. You're too kind. You're too everything. I'll make up for it, I promise. Every time I do to you all, I have a special treat for you prepared. And I'll never call you names, and I'll never make you feel stupid. For today, though, let's just keep doing this. Good dawn. Come here.